before this video starts off, I want to go ahead and tell you guys something. Um, you might want to click away on another tab because you're pretty much going to be staring at a black screen for about 12 minutes. Um, so yeah, explore Facebook, check your PMs, Gmail, whatever. But be sure to watch this video, it's actually kind of important. Hey guys, what's up? It's Poke Cinema, and yeah, that's not my normal intro, and this is not your normal video. This is a Pokemon Grey rant, thoughts, opinions, and uh, or kind of like a reasoning why they will make it, and a reasoning why they, you know, would, yeah, reason why they would make the game. So, um, a lot of people are saying there's not going to be Pokemon Grey which I can kind of see where they're coming from and it is a, a little early to do updates on them and it is a little early to uh, to claim that it's coming out but I mean it's probably going to happen uh, for one reason if you guys remember Pokemon Platinum uh, actually Pokemon Diamond and Pearl rather um, you remember how Giratina was kind of you know nothing to do with um, Hulkia or Dialga, like, he has nothing to do with them. He was far away, I mean, he was just kind of in a secluded island, and, you know, we were left wondering, what is this character gonna do, what is he gonna be? I mean, at that point, this is when I wasn't really heavy, heavy, like, into Pokemon, like, you figure out, you figure out rhythms uh, with the Pokemon company, they seem to follow one pattern, which is uh, make two main series games, such as Black and White, and then um, they would make a sequel to it a year later, um, so that'd be Grey, and then they would go Remakes, and then they would go 6th Gen, and then etc. It just keeps on going on. But uh, an another reason why they would make Pokemon Grey is because they kind of just stuck Kiram out there and didn't really say anything about him. I mean, I know he's catchable, and there's really no need for it, but uh, it will bring a lot more Pokemon fans to the 3DS, therefore bringing Nintendo more sales. So it would be a smart idea on their part, which I'm almost 500% sure. Actually, I'm 100% I'm sure. I know for a fact that they know that that's the smart thing to do. So another reason they wouldn't, you know, another reason they would make Pokemon Grey is that. And, um... Also, they wouldn't just cut one of their best-selling series ever. Nin I mean, Nintendo is Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon. They wouldn't just cut their, like, best-selling series. That's just something that a company would not do, especially with the release of a brand-new system, two new systems, actually, that are coming out. Um, they wouldn't cut one of their best-selling series right as they're releasing two new consoles. No, they're probably developing Pokemon Grey right now, and actually there was, um, there was some Ruby and Sapphire hints on one of the Pokemon guy's Twitters. I'll, I'll try to find it. It's on his pictures. He had a Groudon little toy. I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to, uh, be anything, but, you know, that's something to think about. But, yeah, a reason why they would make Pokemon Grey, I'm getting a little sidetracked here, is because if you guys actually remember a Diamond and Pearl, uh, the three, like, Uxie or Uxie, Azelf, and Mesprit, they didn't really have a storyline there. Well, what about Terrakion, Virizion, and whatever that other one is, and, and plus that pony Pokemon, I mean, what are they gonna be? Uh, I noticed with Pokemon, they like to add a little bit of a storyline, at least with all of their legendary Pokemon. Every single one of them. Deoxys, uh, Rayquaza, Arceus, even. Uh, Regice was even in the Arceus movie. Every legendary Pokemon will make an appearance and will have some kind of storyline behind it. Every single one, every single Pokemon series. And I personally think that um, they will make a Genesect movie, kind of like they did with the Arceus. I mean, they're going to bring him into play somehow because he's exactly like Arceus. Like, you have to hack to get him. You have to, he's not even accessible right now. I don't know how to get him. I don't know if you can even get him with Action Replay. I mean, you'd probably just have to hack him into your box, but... So, that's one thing that they're missing in the storyline. That, there's no way to get that unicorn My Little Pony looking Pokemon, so that's two. And Kiram's just stuck in a field all by himself. So that's another reason they would make it, because they want to explain, they want to 
uh, they want to explain their Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon is supposed to have some kind of storyline, even though people just go through the game like it doesn't. I mean, it is an RPG with a pretty good story if you actually take the time to read all of the dialogue, which I know most people don't because they're so in a hurry or whatever, but if you actually take the time to read the dialogue and read the stuff, it's actually a good storyline in all of the Pokemon games. Except for in the first one, granted, because, you know, all you had to do was catch them all. 151. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, those are some reasons that they'll make Pokemon Grey. As well as, Kiram has some moves that he isn't able to use in Pokemon Black and White. Like, there's encoding of, I think there's two moves. He He's not able to learn in Black and White, but he can use them, if you know what I mean. Like, the coding, he can use them, but you can't use it in Black and White. So, Gray maybe seeing some new moves, seeing maybe a personalized move for him. And also, this is what I'm predicting, I'm going to say that it's going to be a Victini and Kiram thing. I'm going to say that they're going to bring Victini into it or something, Victini, Kiram. And they're going to try to explain him or try to wrap him in the three main legendaries. Because I never thought there was going to be Emerald. But, uh, you know, they did the same thing with, uh, they did the same thing with Rayquaza as they did Kiram. Same, same thing with, uh, Giratina as they did Kiram. They stick him out somewhere, and they just don't do anything. So that's the reason why they're gonna make Pokemon Grey. It honestly frustrates me that so many people don't think there's gonna be Pokemon Grey. Because it's just very annoying. Nintendo's pretty predictable. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna make it. Uh, but it's probably not gonna be in 2011. Actually, it's not gonna be in 2011. I say September 2012, because that's when Pokemon Platinum came out, or come out, came out, bleh, September, like, 22nd of 2008, or 7, one of the two. So, I'm predicting September. Um, but yeah, it is a little early to update and rant on it. I just wanted to get this out because a lot of people are very frustrated at my updates because they don't think there's going to be Pokemon Grey when there are so many reasons that there is going to be Pokemon Grey. Uh, Nintendo really just doesn't like to leave gaps in Pokemon. And plus, it's just following from the very first games. Red, blue, it had yellow. Gold, silver, it had crystal. And uh, Ruby, Sapphire... Emerald, and Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Black and White, Grey. It's just, it's gonna happen. They put a remake usually in between, but it's pretty much, yeah, it's gonna happen. There's no reason for Pokemon Grey not to happen. That's what I'm so confused as to why people don't think they're, I mean, yeah, there has been a lot of rumors saying that Nintendo is not gonna continue Pokemon, but they're not gonna cut off one of their highest grossing franchises right as they're releasing two of the like highest quality consoles and highest quality handheld there is out yet they're gonna want to bring money to both of those systems and both of those systems need some pokemon fans i know rumble blast is uh on the on uh the 3ds but that's not gonna bring in the pokemon fans that are only dedicated to the main series games such as uh, Ruby Sapphire, Black and White, and not the Mystery Dungeon type stuff, but only the mainstream. So that's not going to bring in that, and they know that. So they're wanting to bring in every single type of Pokemon, every, ty every type of crowd from Pokemon. They want to bring them all in. So, yeah, that's some reasons that Pokemon Grey might, be, uh, might come out. And also, something else, someone pointed out to me, they're like, what do you think they'll do with Black City and White Forest? Um, just like Platinum and Emerald... They added in Battle Frontier, if you guys remember. They added in a new area, a complete new area in Pokemon Emerald. And even in, um... I can't remember if they had Battle Frontier and Platinum. Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. They had a Battle Frontier and Platinum. They added in a whole new area. So, what I'm guessing is they're gonna make Black City and White Forest a, um... I I'm guessing they're gonna make it a Battle Frontier with, um some of the badges and you might even see a future gym leader for sixth generation there i mean that's what they did with caitlin in platinum she was actually one of the frontier brands actually her butler was or something like that so i mean look forward to that and also looker they just introduced looker they just introduced him into the game and it's a global game so they brought 
um, more city-like structures. Kind of looked like New York or Tokyo, which I'm thinking that they're going to make... Um, I, I think at least they're going to go to 6th Gen and try to change it up. Maybe, like... I, I just think they're going to do something with Looker because he kind of is just weird and thrown in the game and doesn't really have a story. So I'm I'm wondering what they're going to do with him. And plus, the anime needs an, needs an epic conclusion. Aside from In and... Um, Zekrom, it needs something else. It needs all three legendaries coming together in a clash. Just like the end of Diamond and Pearl. If you guys remember, Giratina came out and was like, Oh hell no, you can't make a new world, because I already got a distortion world. Kill Cyrus. So, yeah, that's some reasons why Pokemon Grey is going to be some reasons... Yeah, th that's pretty much it, guys. So... If you guys do like this rant and um, you agree with what I'm saying, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me what you're most excited about for Pokemon Grey. Personally, myself, I can't wait to see what the sprites look like. I can't see. I, I can't wait to see what the, you know, the human sprites gonna look like. I want to see what it's like when you walk around. I want to see how real they're gonna make it. And I'm personally excited for Castalia City and the 3D graphing there, because they actually did bring in a lot of 3D graphing that would look amazing on the 3DS. So, yeah, tell me what you guys are looking forward to, and, I mean, don't be, um, don't be hating. If you don't like the rant, don't hate, you know? <laughs> um, I'm just telling you guys why Pokemon Grey might be, and why it's most likely gonna happen, because I, I just get so frustrated looking at these comments, like, Nintendo's predictable. Come on. They wouldn't... That's like saying they're going to cut off Mario. I mean, that's just not going to happen. It's because of the name people are going to buy it no matter what. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys are most excited for. Uh, be sure to leave a like on this video if you guys agree with what I'm saying. A a agree with, um, you know, what I'm talking about. And uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next walkthrough part. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys later.